earlier Starship versions struggled with one brutal problem, restarting engines in zero gravity. Ignition needed perfect fuel pressure, stable methane flow, and a precise oxygen mix. One tiny mistake, and boom, mission over. So SpaceX rebuilt everything from the ground up. The turbo pumps, the ignition brain, even the fuel control logic. They designed a system smart enough to restart itself in the vacuum of space, where there's no gravity, no air, and zero room for error. That system is called the Raptor Relight System, and it's nothing short of revolutionary. It repressurizes cryogenic propellants in microgravity, aligns the flow channels perfectly, and reignites the engine, all in under 10 seconds. No wasted fuel, no guesswork, just controlled power. This means Starship can correct its orbit, refuel mid-space, or perform pinpoint landings, all using the same engines that launched it. Engines that used to explode during landing tests can now restart dozens of times without breaking a sweat. But the real magic happens after the relight. With reliable restarts, SpaceX can launch more payload, reuse boosters faster, and even plan Mars return missions. The Raptor V3 isn't just an engine, it's a machine that learns, adapts, and endures. Each one delivers over 600,000 pounds of thrust, and there are 33 of them on Super Heavy, all capable of restarting in orbit. That's not just power, that's freedom. Freedom to go anywhere. But here's the question that keeps engineers awake at night. How many times can Raptor restart in deep space before it fails? That's where things get really interesting, and we break it all down in the full version of this video linked right below the play button. Don't miss it. If you love rocketry, reusability, and raw engineering brilliance, subscribe to Rocketry and like this video. It helps us bring you more real-time SpaceX insights every week. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook for daily clips, Starship updates, and behind-the-scenes rocket stories.